we're going to continue. This next section is called Go With The Flow. And I've caught a huge flock of cormorant. And they're coming in. And so I hope it's coming in as clearly for you. At the minimum, you can hear them. So here we go with going with the flow. The only effective way to use creative visualization is in the spirit of the way of the Tao, going with the flow. That means that you don't have to effort to get where you want to go. You simply put it out clearly to the universe where you would like to go and then patiently and harmoniously follow the flow of the river of life until it takes you there. A river of life sometimes takes a winding course toward your goal. It may even seem temporarily to be going in a different direction entirely. Yet, in the long run, it is a more effortless and harmonious way to get there than through struggling and striving. Going with the flow means holding on to your goals lightly, even though they may seem very important, and being willing to change them if something more appropriate and satisfying comes along. It is the balance between keeping your destination clearly in mind and yet also enjoying all the beautiful scenes you encounter along the way and even being willing to change your destination if life starts taking you in a different direction. In short, it means being firm yet flexible. If you have a lot of heavy emotions riding on whether you attain your goal, that is, if you will be upset if you don't get it. <sighs> you will tend to work against yourself. In your fear of not getting what you want, you may actually be energizing the idea of not getting it as much or more than you are energizing the goal itself. Oh, we got that little rainbow up at the top. I think they're called fire rainbows. If you do find yourself very emotionally attached to a goal, it may be most effective and appropriate to work first on your feelings about the matter. You may have to take a good look at what you fear about not achieving the goal and do affirmations to help you feel more confident and secure or to help you face your fears. For example, the universe is unfolding perfectly. I don't have to hang on. I can relax and let go. I can go with the flow. I always have everything I need to enjoy my here and now. I have all the love I need within my own heart. I'm a lovable and loving person. I am whole in myself. Divine love is guiding me. I am always taken care of. The universe always provides. You may find some of the clearing processes given later helpful. And once again, I refer you to my recommended reading list for books that may offer help and insight. It says at the bottom, see especially the handbook to higher consciousness by Ken Keyes Jr. and Mythic Paths to Cosmic Power by Vernon Howard. Of course, it's perfectly okay to creatively visualize something to which you have a lot of attachment. And it will often work quite well. 
But if it doesn't, realize that your own inner conflict is sending out conflicting messages. In this case, it's important to relax and accept your feelings. Accept the idea that you may not immediately realize your goal. And understand that resolving the conflict is probably an important area of growth for you and a wonderful opportunity to look more closely at your own attitudes about life. If you get a feeling at any time while doing creative visualization that you're trying to force or push something that doesn't want to happen, back off a little and ask your higher self whether this is really the best thing for you or whether you truly desire it. The universe may be trying to show you something better that you haven't even considered. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you.